this is your instructor, Professor Crow, um, and I'm here to do the uh, grammar worksheet for this week. Uh, for week uh, 13, we're doing using strong verbs. So that's the idea we're looking at this week is strong verbs. Um, so for um, for this um, uh, assignment, you, uh, for this quiz, you should look at this grammar worksheet that I have uploaded to the course. It's under the um, grammar strong verb section of the um, week 13 um, part of the course. Um, and I'll just go over it quickly here to sort of uh, go through a few things to make sure um, you're understanding um, what the uh, idea is behind strong verbs. So this really dovetails into our um, active versus passive voice that we were discussing a few weeks ago um, before um, we went online. And um, it just uh, is a way to make your sentences stronger, make your ideas stronger. And um, remember how we said uh, when we're uh, presenting our papers, we're like being a lawyer up there and we're uh, trying to convince our audience of something. And so using strong language um, is really important. Um, you don't want to have this passive sort of subdued voice. You want to have a nice strong voice um, that uh, your readers will uh respond to. So um, so this worksheet talks about specifically the verbs. And I remember in the um, passive active voice section, we talked about the word, the verbs to be, so the forms of to be. Um, and I have a problem with this for sure. Um, I have to go through and make sure that I'm not overusing the verb to be. Um, so we want to change that as often as we can without it sounding Forced, I guess is the um, phrase I want to say. So, um, so when you use the t verbs to be, the sentence isn't wrong. Um, it's more we're trying to make the sentence stronger. So, for instance, in this first sentence, the weaker um, sentence is the philanthropist is careful to give only to organizations that have low administrative costs. So that's not wrong. However, to make it stronger, um, you would say the philanthropist gives only to organizations with low administrative costs. So there you go. That's um, exactly you know the stronger section that we want, or the stronger assertion that we want to have. So instead of is careful, where you're putting the emphasis on being careful, we're putting the emphasis on the action, which is to give, giving. Um, so, do the sentences mean exactly the same thing? No, there's subtle difference. So the first sentence is underscore the care, and the second one un underscores the action of giving. So we want to make sure that we are um, making it active and underscoring that action. Um, so again, this next section, it says William was late to the meeting. So we want, he was arrived late. So that was uh, the was, the, the to be verb of was. Um, doesn't have a lot of action. It's just a state of being. So we want to make it stronger. He arrived late. Um, so that's more vigorous um, and it describes the act of attending the meeting more clearly. It just has more action to it than just a state of being. So those are things that you want to look for in your writing in order to make it um, sound stronger and uh, have a stronger assertion throughout your support. So um, so the next sentence or the next paragraph here definitely talks about that those verbs to be and those are the culprits um, for this uh, weaker language. Um, so the verbs may hide in the forms listed below. Uh, anytime you see these, um, ask yourself if the sentence could be re re rewritten. So a good way to do that is to underline or circle after you've written your paper, underline or circle all of these verbs that are form of to be. Be, is, are, was, been, being, were, has, have, having, had. Um, and then ask yourself, can I adjust this in order to make it stronger? So, um, for instance, to rewrite the sentence, John is the manager of the produce department. Uh, you want to underline is or circle is, and then you want to look at the what he's doing. So he is the manager, but he is actually managing, right? So the manager manages. Um, so we, we want to say John manages this produce department. So that's stronger. It's more precise. Um, and it's just a better way to um, describe what John does. So um, 
so that's just a quick, uh, just making those verbs stronger. It's a stylistic choice, but uh, usually that stronger um, verb is the way to go. And you want to really minimize the number of the to be verbs and to have verbs um, in order to make your um, ideas stronger and uh, make your essay come across with more authority. Um, so please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.